This method can help answer key questions in the biotechnological and biomedical fields such as what are the molecular bases behind the Warburg and the Crabtree effects. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows the high throughput study of the effects of certain substances in respiratory and fermentative metabolism. Begin by inoculating a 15 milliliter conical tube containing 3 milliliters of cool sterile 2% yeast extract peptone dextrose, or YPD, broth with 250 microliters of S. cerevisiae cells, preserved in glycerol at negative 20 degrees Celsius. Incubate the yeast overnight in an orbital shaker at 30 degrees Celsius and 200 RPM for streaking onto a 60 mm 2% YPD agar filled petri dish the next morning. Culture the dish at 30 degrees Celsius until isolated colonies are observed. Then inoculate a single isolated colony in a new conical tube containing 10 milliliters of cool sterile 2% YPD broth for overnight culture at 30 degrees Celsius with shaking. For microplate growth curve setup, Add 145 microliters of an appropriate experimental culture medium to each well of a sterile 10 by 10 well microplate with a lid, and inoculate each well with 5 microliters of the overnight culture. Then incubate the multi-well plate in a microplate reader at 30 degrees Celsius with constant agitation at 200 RPM for 48 hours. Measuring the optical density at 6...